Here we are looking at the 210B DHX-2 sample that was given to me in Taiwan, 29th of December 2023. So here we are, this is looking at the sort of apex, if I come over to the side here you can see that is the edge of one side of this collapsed pipe and if I move it all the way over to the other side you can see this is the other edge. It has these kind of striations on it which is interesting but we're going to go into the central point here approximately there and we are going to do an autofocus and it would appear that there are some fairly regular spots all over this pipe which we are going to investigate so we'll take one shot at a distance here we're on BSE at the moment uh, that gives us an opportunity to see different elements there as different colors so I imagine that the bulk of this is copper oxide which because of the copper is bright is the sort of light gray background and there appears to be these darker spots which are going to be lighter elements that is lighter in terms of their mass Let's go into this. Times 200. This is kind of the scale that my well, the dino light has uh, been able to capture over the years goes up to 220 in fact very regular spots here interesting to see what the morphology of those are and what the elemental constituents of them are so it can actually turn off the image optimization here because I actually want the raw data here I can post process it later now this is interesting because this is on the radius of the material that is stretched you might consider and I can see there are linear cracks along here. Now is that the material falling apart as the pipe collapsed? Don't know. Let's go in here and see what we can see. Well these are definite spots of some type. Definitely different material. What are they? Interesting, I can already see this is almost hexagonal in geometry here. These are almost like <laughs> vertebrae. Hmm. 
Interesting. They're like little cookies. These, this is flat on and these are on the side. Very interesting. Definitely, this is like a round one, and it's like a Oreo, but fat Oreos. Almost like a vertebrae, as I said. Interesting. So, we want a flat on one, a side on one. Let's move around, see if we can get a good variation of them. It's like a twisted knot, it's like a ball of them. Wow, look at that. It's like a real old bundle here. We've got a flat a side. It's not a bad selection there, is it? And something heavier over there as well. Okay, well. Curious little things. Really better. What are these little structures? <laughs> they literally look like Oreos, look. <laughs> oh dear. Are they two torrid stuck together? How curious. Okay. Let's see if I put the secondary electron here and see if we can get something that's showing more of their structure. Topology. So I've got a mix of Backscattered electrons and secondary electrons here. Using this image. Wow, that copper surface looks a little bit ropey to me. Now, are these coming in and damaging it? I don't know. I think I like the backscattered electron shots here. Gives a little bit more comprehension of what elements are what in this process. Whatever that is. So we'll take that. And we're going to move this over to the SEM. EDX detector to have a look at what these things are. Now I imagine the background is going to be copper and these are going to be something lighter but what are they? What are they? Let's find out. So, firstly, let's see if this really is copper on oxygen. 
Hmm. Looks like it's copper and oxygen. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's pretty conclusive. Copper and oxygen. Yep, nice number of counts. Give us a good answer. So what, pray tell, are these? Are these some sort of phosphorus compound? Really is just copper and oxygen. Atomic concentration. Cu2O. Somewhere between Cu2O and CuO. So somewhere between cuprous and cupric oxide. What are these things? Uh, let's choose this one's edge rim. What is that? Well, it has a lot of phosphorus in it. Well, there is Okay, is it really phosphorus or is it actually? I don't think there's any zirconium in there. I think it's got confused. No, there's no peaks up here, so I don't think we're seeing zirconium there. And I don't think there's any tantalum either. Silver. Uh, there is a peak here. What is that? Maybe. Um, don't see the peaks down here for silver. So, is that carbon? I think it's carbon. Carbon and phosphorus. A lot of phosphorus. So, some copper pipes are treated with phosphorus. Could it be because of that? Does look like this is not so damaged and this area where this is coming is damaged. It does look like these are affecting the copper. This is the kind of untouched area and these are being affected by whatever these are. Let's have a look in a line scan, maybe. Maybe that might be appropriate to do now. Let's take another sample on the edge of this one. Shall we? Like there. Well, it's pretty consistent as to what they are. Really not sure that has silver in it. I would suggest not. It's definitely not tantalum, come on, don't be silly. <laughs> Need to resample that one. Da, I need to change the titles on these. Okay, so we're going to look at this first by looking at the copper. So we'll have a quick look down here. See what that is. And no surprise there, it is copper and oxygen.
maybe with a minuscule amount of carbon. So copper did itty bitty bitty phosphorus. And oxygen. We'll have a look at what the edge of this one is here. So we'll look in the middle here because then we won't get anything coming from the boundary around it. Well, that has a much higher degree of phosphorus in it, otherwise it's got the same constituent atoms. They literally look like fat Oreos. Although they have a hexagonal kind of external structure. Are they two toroidal structures coming together? This is definitely looks like it's embedded in this one too. In fact, they all look like they're embedded in to a degree. You can see what it is on the edge of one of these things. I think this is probably good for the edge. Again, very consistent. In its makeup. In terms of the key elements. So probably I should do a map, shouldn't I? Um, where would I do that? I'll do one on here, I think, and one on here. Yeah. I could do a line scan. The line scan, and I think what we'll do is we'll take our line here and we'll just move it across here. Across the center line of this one. Yeah. And see how many points. Line scan. Okay, fine. Let's do an acquire on that. Really, Scandium? I don't think so. Just not there, is it? Don't think there's Scandium there. So, the oxygen goes up. And the phosphorus goes up, the copper goes down, and the carbon goes up a little bit, doesn't it? So that is the line scan completed. I'm going to capture this set of data into the, a new report. So a bunch of stuff there. And we will also add in this line scan. So you can see it like that, that's how it represents it. Okay, we're going to have a look at a little bit more area here. Uh, interested to see what this little thing up here is for a start. 
Don't go too far over. This looks a bit like a fleck of iron. But because it's lighter, it might be heavier than copper even. So I have to see. I think it's quite useful if I actually take this into the EDX. And we will have a look at what this actually is. What is this? Well, it's just copper copper. <laughs> Maybe a itty bit of carbon. Pretty high proportion of copper there. As you can see, that is a pretty high peak. So it's just a lot less oxide. We will take one here. Uh, Timony? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. No. And uh, not tantalum. Stop it with the tantalum. Just copper oxygen and a bit of carbon. And this is our phosphorus rich. <sighs> Whatever it is, it's a Oreo, <laughs> fat Taurus. Let's just get a sample of that now. That's that phosphorus peak. Don't think there's any magnesium in there. Gold? I don't think so. I think, if anything, that is carbon. Not gold. Don't be silly. It's carbon. So we'll have a look around a little bit more. So this is just extra copper rich. Here's one of these Oreos that's been broken. Now, what are these little puppies? These spherical structures in here. What are they? Are they really spherical? They look a little bit spherical, don't they? So we'll have a little look around a bit more. Could these little Oreos actually be from a much larger structure? Look at this Oreo here. It's almost got some vortical structure to its substructure. Definitely some substructure going on there. Not convinced what. There's a much smaller one there, look at that. Interesting. This one's round and it's kind of like got that one intersecting it.
much larger one here, isn't it? Practically 10 microns, maybe bigger. Starting to form a kind of ball shape, isn't it? It's like a... Well, wow, this is interesting, isn't it? Can we risk trying to change this to a mix here? It's going to give us anything useful? Don't know. Uh, maybe. Is that better? I don't know. Almost looks like a fur cone, doesn't it? On a very round variety of fur cone. Really embedded in there, isn't it? There are a lot of these structures. A little hard to see with uh, this particular setup. A very fat one there. Definitely got some sort of form emerging from these. They like to embed themselves. <laughs> Don't they? Look at that. Lots of embedding going on in the copper oxide. Could we argue that spiraling around there? Maybe. Let's have a look at a few more. See if we can see a pattern emerging. Ooh. You see this one here definitely looks like it's got something heavier at its pole. Wouldn't you say? Is that as in focus as we can get? I don't know. Really does look like it's maybe spiraling around. And at the peak here, it has this object here. So I think I'm going to have a look at that over in the EDX. So the bulk of the material is probably the copper phosphor and oxygen, as we've seen before. Don't think there's any gadolinium in there or tantalum. That is an iron peak at the top of this potentially vortex-like structure. Hmm. No tantalum. Come on, don't be silly. <laughs> wow. Okay. This is interesting. Did whatever cause this either gather or synthesize this iron and is it these iron pieces that are then gathered up into other structures that form what we have been seeing not out of this reactor particularly this is uh, the dhx-2 
But could a similar process be going on in other reactors, the synthesis of iron? But that is very clear. We are talking about 18% in this case. 18.5%. 